One of the biggest frustration for any business is watching website visitor leave without a trace. You get the traffic, but you lose the lead. Today, we're going to fix that. I brought on Jidish, the product manager for a tool called Astra, to show us how to build a no-code AI sales agent that qualified leads for you 24 seven. He's gonna walk us through the entire process from sign up to a live sales agent. So by the end of this video, you will have a clear step-by-step -step guide to do this for your own business. Jedish, welcome. Let's start with our first question here. So how does Astra help businesses convert more website visitors? Yes, thank you, Eric. Uh, very excited to be here. We are a, a part of a team called Wati, and we've been working with uh, almost 16,000 businesses across uh, 70 different countries over the last six years right now, where, where we've understood the pain point that a lot of businesses face today. They spend money on ads. They're, they're getting website visit visitors on their website only to land their leads into a contact form. And people are filling those contact forms and their sales rep would actually spend about maybe a day or two to kind of qualify those leads and reach out to those prospects. And by the time the prospects are actually gone, and this is exactly what we're trying to fix with Astra. So with Astra, you can have an AI SDR sitting on your website 24 seven, not just talking to leads, answering the questions for the leads, but also trying to qualify the most valuable leads for you. So this is what Astra does for you. And it can talk different languages and answer all the questions that the leads have. For the most valuable leads, it can also get them to book a demo. And the human SDRs can only focus on the most important leads and the intelligence does the rest of the stuff for them. Yeah, this is uh, really, really important because once you spending all of those ads, right, ads campaigns, when customers are landing on their websites, you've got to find ways to capture those leads. So can you walk us through the setup process from the sign up to building a live agent here? Yes, of course. First step is you can you can just go into this URL called astra.wati.io and then click on the sign up button. We offer a 14 day free trial. You can put in your email address whatever that is and once you do that you just need to verify your email address once you've verified your email address you land into this page where you will be asked to put in your website url you just put in your website url and click on that button there and there is some magic going on in the back end where our ai would actually go ahead and identify what is your brand color what is the brand logo it will also identify what are the kind of what is the possible welcome questions that your leads would want to see and then what are the possible conversation starter questions that you would have the lead ask the ai str agent you can of course customize all of these things and then apart from this you can provide more context about your business things like what is your brand what are the typical deal value what is your sales cycle length look like your ideal customer profile what is your geographical focus all this data that you provide here this makes the ai agent more and more intelligent in terms of identifying what your sales process looks like and on the left hand side as you can see there are a bunch of ways where you can kind of customize the ai agent next thing is you can go ahead and train the AI agent in a lot of different ways. All we've done so far is we've just provided the website URL. It scanned through all the different pages on the website. And then you can, of course, go ahead and refresh all of this content as well. So whenever things change on your website, you can go ahead and modify that. In addition yeah. to that, if you have external sources that you would like to train the AI on, you can go ahead and add that. So you can add external URLs. It would crawl all of those URL pages. You can provide external documents in the form of a PDF, doc, HTML, or whatever format you have, you can go ahead and drop your documents here. And then you can provide simple question and answer formats. So this, every every insight that you provide here that makes the AI more and more intelligent in terms of identifying what your sales process looks like. And it is able to not only engage with leads better, but also qualify them in a much better way. That's a really great way to train the, the sales agent there. But how do you build your sales agents from scratch? Yes. So once you've provided your website URL, the brand kit was automatically identified. The training happened automatically. Now the last step is basically making sure you're able to kind of launch your agent. And when you try to launch your agent, there are typically four steps that you're supposed to go through where you first try to personalize the agent. You're telling the agent, what is it that you're supposed to do? What are the kind of tones that you're supposed to follow? Whether you need to talk in multiple languages with just one toggle button, it is already able to talk in every language that your visitors or prospects are talking to. And also tell your AI agent, what do you want the agent to typically get the use users to do, whether you want them to book a demo, whether you want to kind of uh, collect lead information or just simply educate and nurture. So you can kind of add all of these superpowers to your SDR agent. And but then, you can also add new to the primary. 
go. Of course. So what are some other options you can yes, have here? Yes, right. You can actually just uh, say things like you want to kind of uh, provide simple support or support manual, right? Provide manuals or whatever. Like it will, it will kind of understand what is it supposed to do. Whether you want it to kind of send information to a CRM system, all of those things that you can configure here. So based on those tags that you mentioned, right? So the AI is yes. able to understand that. Nice. Yes, yes. The AI is able to understand the text and identify what is it that it is supposed to do. Awesome. Right? With Beautiful. simple human natural natural language. Yeah, awesome. Right? And eventually, whether you want to, before the lead engages with, with your AI, would you want the lead to provide some of these details? You can specify all of that information here. If there's any other custom field that you want to specify that is relevant for your business, you can go ahead and specify that as well. Okay. Once mm -hmm. you are done with the personalization step, the next step is about adding the lead qualification insight. So this basically follows the band framework wherein you can specify weightage for all of these parameters, what their need is, what, what is it that they're looking to solve, what is their budget range, what is their authority, who is the decision maker here, right? And how soon are they looking to implement a solution? So all of these can be customized here. And then you can specify different things like whenever someone's a hot lead, what is the condition that you want to put there? Right. Let's say someone says I, I someone says I want to implement a solution immediately. You can classify them as a hot lead. And for a hot lead, you can also kind of put in uh, some kind of an intelligence that allows you to kind of send instant alerts to your team on Slack so that you're able to focus on hot leads on priority. Before you move on though, so when you said mention when you mentioned that it's focused on the bands, so budget, authority, need, uh, timeline, is that the only four things that user can add or user can be able to add additional or no? At this point, these are the only four things that the users can add. Okay. But you can turn on, turn off all of these as well, right? So out of these four, typically this is, this is how the lead qualification system works. I see. And we can also change that as well, right? So I see that there's yes. like a pencil icon. Yes. That's right. changing the name or the changing okay, you are changing able to put in the the lead uh, qualification items right awesome. and then you can change the conditions as well right so whether based on the need you want the question to look like something else that's something that you can mm. specify here awesome that's great moving on you have you have the things that i was speaking about here wherein if you have a hot lead you want to probably get them to sing that information into a salesforce contact or get them to book a demo you can kind of provide all of those messages here and you want to you can put in the demo link here and this is what the message would look like for them right so which means you're only allowing your hot leads to be able to book a demo for your with your SDR agents uh -huh. human SDR agents so that thereby saving the uh, human SDRs time and for the cold lead you can of course sing that information into Salesforce or HubSpot these are things that you will be able to do what about the warm lead I mean you can do the same thing right so yeah this okay Fully, fully depends on your business needs, mm -hmm. whether you want to okay. get them to book a demo or maybe sync it to you know, your preferred CRM, you can do all of that here. Awesome. And finally, you can go ahead and you're ready to kind of test out what the agent would look size look like. So you can just say this, the agent is now asking questions to you. You can put in all of these things and then start asking questions. You can see if those answers are exactly what you're looking for. It has identified who I am and it's giving answers based on all the training material that we've provided to it. Mm -hmm. So I see that there's a spotlight settings and a widget settings. So spotlight is basically like a model, right? Prompts in the website or how does it work? Yes. So spotlight, I, we, I can qu show you a quick preview of what it looks like. So after mm -hmm. all of this is done, you just click on the publish button. And when you click on the publish button, while you can go ahead and embed it on your site directly, you mm -hmm. also have a way to try it on your browser. So there are two options that you see here, spotlight and the widget. And you can click on this button right here to see a preview of what your spotlight would look like. Your spotlight would look like this on your website. And if you select widget and click here, this is what the widget would look like. You see here, uh -huh. the widget would show up on the bottom right and the spotlight will show, show up here. And then the user can customize the colors, right? Yes, of course. They can, they can customize all of these things just by going into this brand kit section. Go here and then define what is the color code that they want to use, what's the brand logo that you want to use. And you can specifically customize that for Spotlight separately and for the widget separately. Beautiful. Beautiful. Awesome. So after the user have launched this, yeah, agents, where can they be able to see the qualified leads that's being captured? Yes. The lead information would show up on the lead section. This is where it would show up. Let me show you an, uh, another agent that we have. 
that will allow you to see the leads. If you come here, this is how the leads would show up. You can look at all the visitors, all the leads, all your hot leads that are important to you, all your warm leads, right? And then new uh -huh. leads that have come in. And you can, of course, export this information or have these links leads sync directly into your CRM of your choice. Mm -hmm. Now, what's really interesting is that there's also a lead score, right? Where you can be able to rank whichever lead has the highest score based on the product you're trying to sell. Right. This actually has been a true time saver for uh, a lot of our businesses that we've been working with, right? So what happens here is as soon as they click on the lead, we provide very powerful insights on who this lead is. Quick summary of looking at what are they looking at? What is their budget range? What is the kind of timeline that they're looking at? And whether they're a decision maker or not, right? So this basically tells our system that this is a very, very hot lead. And our AI SDR agents are supposed to kind of go up and follow up with them as soon as possible, right? So it's given all of these insights just by interacting with that lead. And then of course, there is a conversation history where the user has said all of these details, then the, then the, uh, the, it was able to provide very powerful insights into who this lead is. And then it also tells you what the recommended next steps are, right? So the SDR knows exactly what is it supposed to do. Wow. That's really smart. Awesome. So after the user is captured, what are some other integrations that these lead or these CRM can also be displayed? Yes. So, so far we have integration with uh, popular CRM such as HubSpot and Salesforce. And then we have a webhook integration as well, where you can kind of go ahead and put in your webhook URL, select which is the agent that you want the webhook to subscribe to. And these are the kind of events that you can subscribe to. Using this, you can send your send your information or lead information into any CRM of your choice. Apart from that, we're also working on a connector that will allow you to connect with almost 1,000 integrations all at once at a click of a button. That's something that will be rolled out within like about two weeks from now. Wow. So in your opinion, like what's a powerful real world use case or real example of us Astra in action? Yes. So I think some of, some of the results that some of our clients have kind of experienced is re reduction in their customer acquisition cost because they're able to uh, capture and qualify more and more leads because there is there is an, a powerful SDR agent that is sitting on your website 24-7. It never sleeps and it's talking all of the different languages that the users are kind of uh, talking to. So that has been a real value add for them. So they've been able to qualify more leads. Uh, they've seen reduction in their customer acquisition cost. Um, and then it has, it has driven the revenue significantly. I see. That's great. So in that case, how can our viewers get started with Astra? Maybe you can also show us about the pricing. That would be also great. Yes, of course. So if you'd like to get started with Astra, you can go into astra.wati.io, right? And click on the sign up button. And in terms of our pricing, we offer these, these plans here where we provide a free plan as well. So we provide a free forever plan that provides you 100 credits. And then there are, there are credit utilizations for either messages or voice minutes or things like that. Uh, or then we have a $99 per month plan that provides you more flexibility in terms of the number of credit utilization. And all of these credits can be rolled out over to the next month as well. And beyond that, if you have a high traffic website, you can switch to the business plan and it costs about three ninety nine dollars a month. I see. So roughly around like how many credits being used or consumed for the products? Yes. So the credit utilization depends on the number of messages. For example, based on the number of messages interaction that you have, it consumes one credit. And then for voice voice minutes, you typically have about uh, five credits per, per minute. Okay. And then what about the add-ons? So let's say if users select pro plan or business plan and they, they mm -hmm. want more what are some other additional options? Yes, you can buy additional credits at any point in time. You don't have to kind of uh, always go ahead and if you don't need the business plan features, you want to stick to the pro plan, you just need additional credits. You can go ahead and buy additional credits as well. So it's $12 per 1,000 credits, right? That's correct, yes. Awesome. Well, that's great. Thank you very much, uh, Jadish, for showing us this awesome product, Astra. And uh, hopefully you guys found value in this. So if you do found value in this video, please make sure to like this video. Consider subscribe for more content like this. But with that being said, I will see you in the next video. Thank you, Astra.